of these characters, Forest Floor is such a strong opportunity for them to just set the momentum to their favor in a way that it may not swing back. Like, you could snowball really hard when you have a character that's very momentum focused. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, between projectiles like Needle and Fireball, they both serve fun functionally a bit of the same thing, but just a little bit different each time. And likewise, their aerial combos kind of cut from the same cloth. Like, there's a lot of ways for them to pressure, whether it's off stage or off the plats, a lot of active space for both of them to mix up their potentials to kill. But oh, no, but Dan could just drop to his death. That's so unfortunate. You know he didn't really mean to do that, but again, 134 right now on Kodak. This is still going to be an easy enough stock to clean up if Dan's can just find the opportunity. And there it is, the sweet spot up air. Going to land it up, 7%. We say we didn't need that stock right now, you know? Mental reset, get back in the game, because you still got an, an opponent that's looking to take full advantage of that. You know, the way that Dan's been playing, very focused throughout this entire set. Just yeah. so far, like even with the stock drop, don't matter. Keep yeah, it exactly. going. And we, we saw a bit of that in the winner's side, too. Like, even though fighting off against Kate, Kate trying to stall him or just outright kill him as fast as possible, and Dan pushed forward as quickly as he can, not letting up any of the momentum that's built up. And that's something that could just outright suffocate Kodak if Kodak doesn't put a firm boot print into the set. Yeah, and oh, yeah, Kodak looking for the up strong. Not going to find it, though. Does get the up air, but all oh, back airs out of the pressure. And Dan goes just around the bubble. This is a big edge guard opportunity, but doesn't get it. Yeah, that's going to yeah. do it, unfortunately. Zedder not able to get back from a situation like that. And I love how that situation that led to Dan's losing the stock was all started from Kodak stalling on the bubble. The bubble, not in position because of that, was not there to save Kodak, putting us right to last stock. Yeah, and you saw there that with Tongue being a huge uh, bane, yeah, allowing Danzella to clean up that stock. I mean, the tongue is such a hard commitment, especially when you have a speedy character to deal with. Like, you know, Zedder's not staying in one spot for a whole period of time. It's a really big call out, oh, but again, no. he just drops to his doom. I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know if it's a fear, if it's just a, a reaction time thing, but Dan's might be might be feeling a little out of sorts. That first SD might have gotten to him and may have had him second guessing his movement. But it's so unfortunate to see a game one that was looking to be pretty darn close and pretty darn competitive and because of two unfortunate SDs. But if you're Dan's, you got to shake it off. You can't let something like that get to you because if you do, it's just going to be downhill from there. Yeah, it's, you know, it has to be a situation where you look at it like you had two SDs and it was close. <laughs> yeah. what happens when you don't SD. Yeah, you get a nice double sour fair into down air. You take this. You take the first stock with only 20% on you. And he's you still going. You look to do it again. Yeah, you're not. Don't slow down the gas now. You've got two more stocks to take, and you want to say like that first game? Look, you're a great player, but like that's that was meant to be my game, and I'm gonna show you why. This is also his favorite stage, so this is not. Um, okay, gets that? Yeah, I don't think Kodak is gonna make the mistake of allowing Dan to play here twice. Yeah, there just get the go. turn on up strong. 27%, one stock remaining on Kodak, and we're all not even a minute into the first, into this game. My Kodak has to do something to put some sort of impact into this game, too. The momentum's gonna just swing right back in Dan's favor. And Dan's, when he's feeling himself, is a, a terror. Oh, yeah, he's had plenty of players. Uh, have 69%. To He's looking nice. Oh no, the power is gone. But does Dan need the power? Is the thing. And now he's got two stocks to sit on before he's really sweating. Oh my! That could have actually just been the entire stock right there. That great a jump away. Ball out from Kodak, and he goes for it again. But Dan is nowhere to be found. Oh, Rising Bear to protect him, getting back on stage. Brilliant from Danzilla. Yeah, I mean, if Dan could end this with a three stock, that would just be such a powerful statement. And, and that's exactly does. what we're going to see, Akashi! 138% built across three stocks, but none of those stocks leaving as Dan responds. With a three stock in game two off of a game one where he SD'd twice. Kodak looking a little, a little, a little shook, a little startled. Like, I was playing solid that, fir that first game. I don't know what happened, Dan. Dan's, I mean, that the stage selection is obviously one thing, you know? People love the stages that they love, and they play better on certain stages than they do others. But when you were playing hot on the first game and you get three stocked as a response, it it, it mentally shakes you. Yeah, it, it's a bad look. But listen, Kodak worked hard to get to this point. 
He's yeah. not out of it just yet. Oh, and not bringing at us all. to tower for this game, I think a very smart call. Oh my god! And he almost just Back lost air. it all. Back air into shine into up strong, but needles into air dodge beat forward air is gonna take that stock. And the bubble up there is just protecting that entire space from the up strong. Oh All no! Right. The Excellent catch! Build up that damage! Yeah, great catch there from Codex. 61 and climbing right now. Dash attack, great burst option. Sending him off stage again. The one just goes off stage. I'm sorry, I hit my microphone. He just goes off stage for those edge guards. Knows the dance has been stalling and just been taking his time trying to get back to stage. Oh my god, wait, is Codex gonna respond with a three stock of his own? That is maybe the that best possible way that you can answer to that kind of a beating is you deliver it right on back. Oh my god, it looks like we might see it. Goes to the border! And that is gonna do it. A three stock right back from Kodak onto Dan's 2 1. This set is just so explosive. Akashi, there is blood in the air for this set. Dan's looking stone faced right now. Kodak looking. No, both of them are just so <laughs> focused. They, they yeah, want no. this win. Yeah, Kodak saying, no, my run does not end here. Dan said, no, I got to winner's side top eight. I am not letting my run end here. We run it back to tower. Says, no, I can do it on this stage. That was not that was not what was supposed to happen. I mean, you know, he, he lost that game pretty handedly. And Kodak opening very strong for this game four. This is a very bold stage pick. Yeah, you, it's one thing to run it back if you you know, if, you, if it was kind of close, you know, like if there was a few mistakes I could have man, that was a three stock. Like that's a, that's a tough one to really kind of respond to. there were no to. SDs there. Kodak showed that he did not need any help winning this set. Yeah, no, absolutely. He said game one, yeah, you may have SD'd once or twice, but make no mistake, I can kill you all by myself. I don't need your help, you know? I don't need a charity. I just need good, neutral, solid combos and a kill to end it all. Dan's looking to respond back, but at 91%, it's going to be tough to get this to seal it out. Codex DIing a lot of these moves fantastically end up the tongue reach right now. Oh, that sweet spot for forward or not yeah, up there, not managing to kill. Yeah, great use of the bubble too to stall out and just keep himself out of reach. Dash tech going to reach, but there it yep. is. The up is going to find it, not a three stock. Said no, look. Uh, See, I told you, not a three stock. <laughs> that wasn't what was supposed to happen, but oh, great Dion on the tipper. Up strong. And then up strong, nowhere to be found. His dance on the opposite side. We've got a competitive one for this game four, but it is still a tall order for Dan to have some sort of impact. Ooh, yeah, but Koda gonna get that forward up before the tech comes out, or before the tech opportunity even arises. And right now, Dan's sitting on potential tournament stock, but oh, we got carry combos up all the way to the top plat. We're moving from plat to plat. Yeah, we're, we're taking a around the world tour in this game. You're seeing the whole tower of heaven with this one. Oh yeah, and we're, we're seeing like these two are just hitting each other. They're just going at it. One right. stock apiece right now. This and is potentially last call for Dan Zello. Yeah, he has he to do what he can to just to put something on the board when it comes to the damage. Oh my god! The top. Amazing DI keeping Kodak alive. Well, he, that died almost at 60. Killed. he could have died at 63 off of that one neutral interaction. That is the power of Zetterburn. That is the power that he wields. And that is why Danzello is such a threat. Oh, excellent tongue movement weaving around Dan. Trying to strike where Zetter's at his most comfortable. Oh, gets a downer. But this battle is so oh tight, but he misses the up strong, puts out a down strong. It's not going to find its mark as the no, percentage is slot back and into forward air confirms it as Kodak takes the set 3 1. And they hug it out, but you know Kodak was sweating bullets off of that one combo. You literally won two more percent. That could have been the entire stock off of that one exchange. We could be talking about a game five, but Kodak stays composed. Stays focused, the way thinks, that okay. They then. raise the ante. Interaction off of interaction. Not even just stock for stock in that game. Ridiculous play from both of them. And that was by oh all means Codex God. game to win. And it was that almost was robbed nice. from an in an instant. Zetter only needs one interaction on a stage like Tower to just steal the game right from under you. I, Off the and top we, of that too, if that DI wasn't less than perfect, honestly, we would be looking at a game honestly, five. Honestly, and this could just be me. 
Off of that up tilt, Dan's might have been able to do a Nair one up strong and get the extra percent he needed to kill off the top. Because the fire was still active, there might have been a chance for Nair one uh, fire charge up strong. But we can't talk about what ifs. Codex stay composed. He got the soft backer forward air, cleaned it up, and is moving on to losers' semis where he's going to be fighting.